Welcome to the ADF Insider Essential Series, which demonstrates essential skills, tips and techniques that you will require for building an ADF application. In this demonstration, you're going to see how you can build a dynamic user interface layout using the ADF Faces Switcher component. Now, a common use case in your application might be that your UI pages might show different content depending on different factors. So for example, depending on the permissions of the logged on user, you might show different information on that page. You might decide that if a user is viewing a particular area of the page, you might decide that that area of the page displays a graph, or depending on some other factor, it could display another UI component like a table. Or you might have a page which is initially in view mode, where you cannot change the data, but then you select something and the whole page flips or switches into an edit page mode. The example you're going to see in the demonstration is shown in the screenshot where we have a view of customers and we have a tree control that shows customers by country or by selecting a menu option we can flip or switch that tree control to show a different tree control which is customers by sales rep. So how do we do this? Well, we can use a component, an ADF Faces component called the AF Switcher component. And this is a UI component that defines a number of named area called facets. And each of these facets can be switched, which means it's rendered. The component uses the property facet name to decide which facet should be rendered. So you can hard code this value, or typically, as we see in the example here, you might choose to read the value of the facet name from some dynamic area. In this example here, we'll be using the request scope memory to hold the value of which facet should be displayed. And in the demonstration, you'll see how that value can be set by using a menu component. So let's look at this in the demonstration. So in this application, we have a panel that shows customers by sales rep or customers by country. But we'd like to combine that information into just one panel and be able to switch between the information using a menu in that context facet. So first of all, to do this, we add in a switcher component. And inside a switcher component, we have something called a facet. This is just one of the areas that will display content. And we give it a name. Let's call it country. And we'll add another facet because we can switch to a different display. And in this facet, we'll call it rep for sales rep. So now we're going to add the tree controls that we originally had in different areas into these facets. And now that we've added it, we can get rid of the other panels that we don't need anymore. Okay, so the next step is we want to add a menu option which allows us to switch between the different views we now have in this panel. And we'll do this by using an ADF Faces component called a Select One Choice. Now for this Select One Choice, there are two options, or two menu options that we can select in this dropdown. So the label we'll see in the dropdown will be View by Country and we'll give it a value, country, and view by sales rep. And selecting that menu option will create a data value called rep. Let's get rid of the label. We don't need that in this example. And let's also set this component to be compact. Okay, so we've set up the menu option. Now we have to define that the value when we select on that menu option should be put into a little piece of temporary memory called request scope. So whenever a menu option is selected in this drop down, we'll put the value into a piece of memory called request scope dot dynamic panel. We could use any name here. And when the value is put into that field or that piece of memory, 
we want our switcher component to use that to switch between the different facets. So by default, we'll show the country facet, but we'll use this memory scope piece of information to define the name of which facet should be rendered. We'll also set up our partial trigger, so on selecting this menu option, we want to auto submit. And we should also define that the new panel that we have here should automatically refresh using a partial trigger. So this panel should automatically refresh itself when the menu options selected. Okay, let's save and let's test this now. And there you can see our single panel showing a customers by country. And we can flip or switch using the switcher component to see the customers by sales rep or back to customers by country and select a customer. So you've seen how you can use an AF switcher component to allow you to dynamically render different parts of your UI using different UI components. The AF switcher component defines facets and each of those facets is an area of dynamic content that can be rendered using the property facet name to switch between the different name facets. For more information you can go to the OTN network. Thank you very much for listening.